And I mean, of course, you mentioned risk when you were talking earlier and the risk could have been dealt with because there's minimal risk. Um, the protocol was put there to protect the European single market and allegedly also to protect the Belfast Agreement. It hasn't done a matter of those, of course, but it has protected the European single market to the nth degree. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it is not needed. And the proportionality argument has always been a European legal construct, but it has been thrown out of the window uh, when it comes to the protocol, hasn't it, Robert? You're absolutely right. I mean, to, to be fair, the protocol works in one main element, in that you can tra trade between Northern Ireland and the Republic is now very easy, uh, although it would have been impossible to try and stop that trade given all the border crossings. But, you know, it has made trade more difficult uh, across the, the Irish Sea, and that's something we need to address. And indeed, the point I made to Commissioner Shefvich when we were there was, you know, what is the risk? Give me a list of, of goods that you've intercepted uh, with, with those checks, and, and he couldn't. Now, in the future, we might we may see diversions. For example, we're looking at gene editing as a way of producing healthier crops, crops that don't need as many pesticides. And that might, in the future, uh, pr provoke an issue. But at the moment, where there are no issues at all. British food, British goods, British sausages are every bit as safe as they were when we were in the European Union. And, and it's important we can get them across for those wonderful Ulster fries that we all enjoy when we're there.